Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. So I've already discussed with you my favorite products of 2019. So today, I wanna share with you brands, products that I'm looking forward to using going into 2020. These are products um, from things that I'm already using that I'm looking forward to using more of, and brands and products that I really, really want you to know about and just try if you haven't already. Just a side note because I feel like I have to do this whenever I do like a countdown video or top whatever. This video isn't sponsored. None of these brands have paid me to be featured in this video. So I want to start by saying that 2020 for me is going to be a year where I want to put the fun back into my skincare and into skincare in general. I feel like in 2019 everything's become so serious but in 2020 I'm not going to be made to feel guilty for liking good packaging, exciting and new ingredients, brands that have the whole package. So let's be safe still, but enjoy our skincare, please. <laughs> this brings me to our first product, one of the most fun and cutest products I think I've ever used, and that is Starface Hydro Stars. These are the cutest pimple patches I think you're ever gonna use. They're so cute, they actually kind of make me want to get a spot. They make me want to break out so that I can just use them. They're pimple patches in the shapes of stars, as you can see, and they are just really your average pimple patches, but they're just really, really cute. They reduce redness, the size of the pimple, they do absorb all that gunk as well. You know, which I, for me is the most satisfying part of a pimple patch. But the main reason I like any pimple patch in general is because it stops me picking and touching at the spot. I've even started to put these on general areas of irritation just to stop me itching and touching it. There's a lot of things I love about this brand as well in general. Their Instagram is really, really cool. It's really funny, weird, but so good. Their website is like something from 1995. It's really fun just to go on and explore and click around. But most impressively is how they package and resell their products. So when you first buy the Hydro Stars, you get this plastic little container with the mirror inside and then your pimple patches. Once they're done, you can then go onto their website and you get a refill pack. And they're the pimple patches that come in like a little cardboard envelope. So you're not having to repurchase this plastic over and over and over. And the refills come in recyclable packaging. These are $22 for 32 patches and a little container with a mirror, which I think is a bargain. Very, very fairly priced. The refills are $18 and you can get the standard yellow stars or you can get the party pack and they're like multicolored stars as well. This is a brand who's got their packaging down, their branding, the products are actually good and they're environmentally conscious as well, which I absolutely love. This is more the type of brand I want to see and be using going into 2020. And talking about brands with good branding, uh, I want to introduce you, if you don't already know, Even Prime. I've been using this brand for a while actually I was meant to feature it a few months back um, in a post-gym skincare routine, but then I stopped going to the gym. This brand is from California, but their ingredients are heavily, heavily influenced from the innovative ingredients that you find in Korean and Japanese skincare. They've actually worked with some top Korean chemists to come up with three products, um, a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a soothing mist. For now, I'm hoping they release a few more things. But um, this brand is amazing, like not just the products themselves, which I'll come on to a second, but their branding again. It's inspired by like 90s Asian pop culture, from anime to video games, and it just just gives the brand a really unique feel. It's a brand that's fun to use as well. And these guys are another example of a brand that has amazing ingredients, amazing products, beautiful, simple packaging, and like a whole story behind it as well. I do love it when you can connect personally with a brand as well. 90s Asian pop culture is me all over. It just has so much charm to their um, brand and their products. The fact that their products are recyclable, the packaging is recyclable as well. As to that, they're also very conscious about their carbon footprint print. You can read more about this on their website. And their Instagram is just like a work of art as well. It's like when Tumblr was good. But yeah, I do feel like this brand may be worth its own video. So let me know if you're interested in seeing a bit more. As far as their products and their ingredients go, they've got some very specific things I look for um, in my skincare that I discovered through Korean and Japanese skincare. You've got your Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate. I've talked about this so many times, but this is what I look for in an essence, really. So 
both for hydration, moisture retention, um, the anti-aging step, I guess, but also helps with enlarged pores, much like niacinamide that they have in their products as well, which helps with your skin barrier too, but I do also use this for an overall, um, more even complexion. They have centella. They also have sea buckthorn extract, which is packed with nutrients and fatty acids and antioxidants. And I feel like we're gonna see a lot more of this ingredient going into 2020. And hyaluronic acid, we all know what that does. These products are so simple. They feel simple on the skin as well in the best way. They feel really non-intrusive. They feel like they're just getting the job done. I would say that they're really, really suitable for all skin types as well. There is no irritation on my skin whatsoever when I use these products. But yeah, I feel like I can take a deeper dive into this brand. Um, and I do feel like this is a safe brand to go for. Um, when you have even the most sensitive skin types. The next brand that I'm actually really excited to talk about as well is Good Molecules. Now, this is a brand that a lot of you are probably already familiar with because a lot of you were asking me to review it. It's one of those brands that come payday, I kept forgetting to buy. I was like, oh no, I should get that, I should get that. And then luckily they actually sent me some stuff, so thank you. Um, so these are gifted. Good Molecules is based on the idea of simple skincare that works. They say themselves that Good Molecules offers products that target skin issues like acne, redness, and hyperpigmentation without the usual retail markup price. And you see that reflected in their price points. It's not like the ordinary where, you know, like a serum is like 50p, no, it's not, it's like three pounds or whatever. And you're like, how are they making any money from this brand? But you look at the prices of good molecules and you're like, oh, that's fair. Like I, I would actually pay that. Like they're not expensive. The prices range from six pounds, I think I found um, for a serum. And the most expensive I could find was 15 pounds for a cleansing balm. So all really good. Good. A standout product for me, as I just showed you, is their niacinamide brightening toner. You have all the usual benefits of niacinamide, but you also have Arbutin in here to help with hyperpigmentation. Um, I'm a fan of Arbutin, but I feel like I don't use it enough. Licorice roots help brighten and soothe the skin, and then you have vitamin C. And also, actually, where's that other one? Oh, the Dis Discoloration Serum I've actually been enjoying as well. But this is one of the products I was going to buy before they sent it to me because it's got tranexamic acid in it and niacinamide. So in general, this is meant to really, really help with dark spots, uneven skin tone, acne scars, all that kind of stuff. It's just meant to give you a really nice flat even skin tone. I just found out that Cosrx are potentially discontinuing their white Mela 14 amp or I hope they're not. I hope they're just like bring it out in different packaging like the Propolis Ample, but if they are, this could be a good replacement. The next brand is Peace Out. A brand I'm really surprised I've not actually talked about before, considering I've been using them for years. And in my opinion, they come up with one of the best inventions ever. So I've been using these for years, as I mentioned. My brother used to live and work in America. He worked for Disney World for a couple of years on and off. And he used these, told me they were amazing. He sent me some. I believe they were only available in like Sephora and on their website in America. But now they shipped to the UK and they're known for their pimple patches. Yes, another pimple patch brand. But you know when you put a pimple patch on and your skin just looks so clear once you pull it off, it pulls out all that gunk, those excess oils. Imagine this, but on your nose, like a whole thing on your nose, just pulling out all those herbaceous filaments, all the excess oil, a couple of blackheads here and there. So this is where the Peace Out pores come in. Um, in this pack, you get like the little um, pore strips, then four blackhead strips. So these are like your normal blackhead strips, you know, the ones that you put on your nose and they make you cry when you pull them off. But they're made of that um, hydrocolloid <laughs> um, material that pimple patches are made out of. So you apply this to the nose, usually overnight, you peel it off the neck, next morning and your nose looks flawless and poreless. No exaggeration, I love these. I will use these. Um, if I'm going out in the evening for an event, I would put them on first thing in the morning, leave it on all day, then peel it off just before I start getting ready. I absolutely love them. Shipping is a little bit expensive um, if you're in the UK, but I do think it's worth it. So I use them very, very sparingly. They did gift me a few other bits as well, actually. Um, their Peace Out Acne, so the normal dots. Um, what are these? The Puffy Eyes, which I haven't actually used yet. And they do offer Peace Out dark spots and these are like pimple patches with um, micro needling dots in that you put on your skin to help get rid of dark spots. I didn't have a lot of luck with these to be honest with you. They didn't really do anything for me. I tried putting them on my nose and they wouldn't actually stick to my nose even on clean skin. Um, but I do have this dark spot here and I'm trying loads of serums and stuff. So I might try these out again on here but it is literally just nice in my licorice extracts which I use a lot in my serums and stuff. So a brand we all know but I've only just started getting into and that is Paula 
Paula's Choice. I did not give Paula's Choice a good enough chance this year. I used one product and didn't like it and I kind of threw my toys out of the pram. I was like, that's it. I'm never using this brand. It's never going to work for me. But then I realized that, of course, I'm never going to like every product from a brand with so many products to offer. I did try the Niacinamide Booster. Wasn't a fan of it. I think I'm very, very dedicated to my ordinary Niacinamide. And it's that's done so much for me that when I used another one, I was like, this is not as good. So I actually bought the Azelaic Acid because of my rosacea. It was one of the top recommended products, not just ingredients, but products. And the 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant, both of which my skin absolutely loves. A product has never changed my skin in such a short amount of time as the Azelaic Acid has. It's made such a big improvement on my redness. Yeah, I, I actually can't love it more. It's, it's, it's changed my skin, hopefully now for the better. And I feel like I got my first professional grown-up retinol from them as well. I was using the Ordinaries, as you know, then I bought their um, 1% and my skin loves this as well. This has a nice moisturizing light texture to it and my skin doesn't feel like it's completely peeling off the next day, but I have built up my tolerance, so maybe that's why, but I do love this as well. Because of my previous review on Paula's Choice, the Azelaic Acid, they actually sent me a couple of items as like a thank you, which is really nice of them. I've only started using a toner out of what they sent me and that's the pore reducing toner with niacinamide. I've literally been using it for only a week, um, so I can't really comment on it yet. What I can say is that my skin doesn't find it irritating at all. It doesn't find it intrusive in any way. Much like the other Paula's Choice products, my skin doesn't have any kind of bad reaction to them. Another thing I like about Paula's Choice is even though they have quite a lot of products to offer, none of them seem unnecessary, if that makes sense. You look at each product and you think, oh, I know someone who can benefit from that, or I can definitely benefit from that. So yeah, it makes me very, very interested in their products. I'm so glad I stopped being a whiny little bitch and I actually bought more of their products because something within me knew I was gonna like their products. Prices are a little bit more expensive. They're expensive. But from what I've used so far, I do feel like it's worth it, I have to be honest. I just like hoping they have like a big like um, Christmas day sale, like a Boxing Day sale or like New Year's sale. <laughs> Because it's expensive. It's expensive. So yeah, I hope that was as interesting as my best of 2019. Thought it would be cool just to show you what I'm playing around with a bit and what I, I, I've really been liking um, in the future. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, let me know what brands that you think I don't know of yet. What ones you love or what brands you're interested in using. They don't have to be new. They could be old classics and iconic favourites. But let me know in the comment section down below. Um, that, that's it. That is it from me now, guys. I will see you next time. <laughs>